Now, guys, uh, we have studied the structure of the arrays I have mentioned a few minutes before. Now, we are just going to go and check the functionality of the for each loop. Actually, why we need to use the for each loop. Okay? So, I do duplicate it now, and arrays 5 is our uh, page now. I'm just going to have in here the values as I did before 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Okay? If we say, if, if we think that, okay, I don't want to use the for each loop, I just want to stick the for loop as I was using before programming languages. So you are free to use a for loop something like this $i is equal to 0 and the while the dollar i is smaller than, if you look at in here, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So smaller than 5, because it's starting from indexing 0, smaller than 5, increase the dollar i. And whenever it increases, just simply echo the item, my array 1, dollar i. Okay? It, it is possible to make like this. So once I am building something like this, once I am building something like this, I am able to see every item of my of my array one by one. I'm able to access them via this indexing value. Indexing value was starting from zero and keep continue up until five, but not equals to five. So when I save this page, and if I just continue uh, to check what it brings as output, it is printing very fine. I am able to see them all. That's good. But we have a problem. Hmm? These are the indexes. Okay? It, it, the indexes are starting from index 0, and it counts index 0, index 1, index 2, up until four with four okay the problem is if i do increase some more okay in this case when i save it and try when i save it and try because i have limited it up until five i will see up until five only i i cannot see the rest okay so let me just go for it for example if i just try the page i'm still not I'm still seeing the same numbers. I'm not able to see the rest. If you want to overcome this difficulty, you can just say that, okay, I'm not going to make you up until five. I'm going to write in here count. It counts the items in the array. It counts the my array one. So according to the change of the size of the array, the count will change. So now if I save it and if I run the page, now it shows perfectly fine. But what if, what if I am starting from 10? I am starting from 10. So, uh, this is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17 are my index values. But according to my for loop, it is checking from 0 till 8. Means, when I run this page, I see nothing. Actually, the loop works. I have 8 break lines in here, but I see nothing in here. Or whenever I just decide that, okay, 5 is, uh, let's say, A. Because it is counting according to the numbers, a number never be A. So I am not able to access those data. You got this? Because of these limitations, actually those are not the limitations, those are the flexibilities of the PHP-based arrays. Uh, Another uh, loop was developed. That is the for each loop. So what for each loop does? I'm just going to write in here echo a 
hr, okay? And I'm just going to write in here that for each, first of all, you are writing the name of the array, what you are dealing with. So the name of the array, what I'm dealing with is the my array one. Then you write in between as. Then you write in a sort of variable. This variable is a local variable. It will be used and terminated within this loop. Okay? So what I do in here is this. I'm just going to say that echo this one. Sorry. Echo this one. And then I'm just going to have the break line. So now what I will see is I am able to see them all perfectly fine. Even if it was started from 10 or the something else was indicated as non-numeric value, the for each loop never fails. It displays everything perfectly fine. Got the point? So for each loop is a special loop which has been developed uh, for solving any sort of uh, array flexibility issues inside the PHP. And the for each loop has another way of usage too. Now I'm just going to show you that way but before I want to ask you that have you understood this thing or not? Not clear. Look. The point is this. For loop was taking the my array one array and keep incrementing the indexes related to dollar i. That incrementing of the indexes were starting from zero and keep continue to increment according to this count. So what is the count method will return me? It just counts the items. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it says that, okay, it will start from number zero up until eight, but not because eight, it means that zero to seven. So it says that echo, okay, I will echo something, what's that? My array one, zero. But there is no my array one, zero in here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, they are not in here. So it just not able to return me anything in here, but just make the break lines. But the for each loop doesn't work in that way. For each loop will know that how many items does an loop, sorry, does an array has. And without focusing on what was indexed, what is the smallest, what is the greatest index, whether it is letter, string, or whatever it is, it just works like a pointer. It starts from the pointing one, and pointing two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay? So this for each loop is working uh, in a perfect manner. On the address. Okay? So whatever you have used as an index, it will not make any problem to you. Okay? Do you understand? That? Now, what I'm going to build is now a for each loop with some extra information. Okay? So let's see what it will be. This was array 5. Now I'm just going to duplicate it and array 6 <coughs> now follow here what I'm going to do I'm just going to write in this array now I'm just going to write in this array now uh, the first one okay let me just make something like this Actually, this makes no sense for the um, application, but I like to look and read the stuff clearly, okay? Uh, what I'm going to do is this. I'm just going to say that here, Gökhan, okay? And the Gökhan will indicate this. What is that? 
it indicates, for example, web programming, okay, web technologies, and let's say uh, HCI, okay. Then I am going to open something in here that will be, let's say, uh, Mr. Sali, okay, that indicates that indicates uh, database information management systems and uh, okay digital image processing okay and then I'm just going to add something else in here uh, okay let me add in here so written okay mr. Sarretan is teaching let's say programming programming and let's say OOP for now okay now what happens in here is this if I just go for this way if I just go for this way I am able to see the data part only look it says that my array one as this one this one brings only the data parts but I want to get the information about the indexes too because I want to say that Gurkhan teaches this Sali teaches this and Savretin teaches this okay so what I need what I will do is this I'm not having the data only I do write in here key and data here key and data are two variables uh, you can write anything apple and banana okay or let's say any two names table and desk up to you but key and data are make sense that's why I use them here so what I will do is this I will say that echo first of all echo me the key echo me the key whatever the key is then write in here teaches okay then I will see in here the data okay so what happens is this look at them here first of all it echo the key the key of the first entry the key of the first enter is Gokhan. So it writes in Gokhan. Then a string is here with the concatenation. So Gokhan teaches. And the data. Data is here. Web programming, web technologies, and ASA. It's right in here. Then the break line. It goes for the second data now. Then it writes the key. Sari teaches these and makes the third line and sorry it teaches this you got it? ok let's save this and see it in action array 6 so as you can see that Gokhan teaches a web programming web technology in this guy sorry it teaches that and sorry it teaches this so you are able to retrieve Gather only the data, or you can retrieve data as well as the index. Okay, so that is a very powerful tool. While you are dealing with the arrays, for each loop is the very first tool what you have to use in your conditions. Why this is so much important? Because in the next year, when you are learning the web technologies, when you receive the data from database all of the information what you bring from database is coming in a box of array if you know how to manipulate your array how to take the pieces out how to use them in a proper structure so you can use that collect the data in a proper manner if you don't so you may even receive the data file you may not be able to use it fine Got it? So, I am going to make this practice into one level advancement. Okay, now let's say that 
Let's say that. We have uh, one more course open for the Gokhan. Okay, or let's say we have open one more course for Mr. Sarit. For this case, I have to write this programming OP in all the way along. But instead of writing them all the way along, I am just going to make a multi dimensional array. Multi dimensional array is known as array in an array, and it can be kept in the loop of the matrix. We know the matrix, not the movie. Uh, the matrix is the thing which is keeping the data in the x and the y coordinates in the mathematics. Okay? So let's just go for the multi dimension array and modify this coding in one advanced level. Okay, let's go for it. Okay, array 6 was here. Now I'm just going to open the array 7. Okay, now the Gokan is going to be the key, still the key, and I'm just going to delete these items. Now, they are not going to indicate to strings, they are going to indicate to arrays. Means what? I am just going to write inside in here array for one more time. Okay, this array is going to contain the informations related to uh, that lecture only. For example, for Gokhan, now I'm just going to write in here web programming and web, okay, web technologies and, okay, HCI. This was the case before. Now I'm just going to write for the array of Mr. Sali, array. Uh, he was teaching uh, database. Um, okay. Information management systems. And the last one is digital image processing. Okay, let me just take them, just, okay, like this, that will be better. Okay, and um, for Mr. Savretin, array, uh, we have given here programming, and uh, what was that, OP? Yeah, so, now, before I go to deep details of using for each, I just want to try, I just want to try to write web programming, digital image processing and OP. I'm planning to write now. I'm planning to write now. Web programming, digital image processing and OP to the screen. Okay. So because we are using the multi-dimensional array, we have to use two sets of the coordinate parentheses. The first one is going to indicate the first item in the first array. The second is going to indicate the second item in the second array. Means what? Now, my aim to display is this. I just want to see web programming. Okay, I just want to see the web programming. Then, okay, inform, okay, uh, digital image uh, processing and I want to see the OP so for seeing them in the screen I need to use the way of the multi-dimensional array so I just write in here echo my array 1 now first of all I should check where is the web program Web programming is in here. So before <coughs> I go here, I have to come in this whole array. So this whole array has been indicated by the key, by the index of Gokhan. 
So what I write in first in here is spellings and the lowercase, uppercase that makes sense. Pay attention about it. And inside in here, inside the item Gökhan, uh, the web programming is in first. Do you remember that if we haven't changed the default settings of the arrays, so where does it start? Starts from zero. So I write in here zero. Okay? Then I made a space in here. I will make the same logic. My array one. Now I want to write in here the digital image processing. The digital image processing is in here. But before I reach here, I have to reach this array. And that array was indicated with Mr. Sari. So what I write in here first is Sali. And inside that Sali, uh, let's say, indexing, I need to come to digital image processing. If I haven't changed the default setting of my array, it was starting from zero. So zero, one, and two. So here is that. So I write in here two. And the last one. Okay, my array. Okay, I'm just going to write in here so red bin. Okay. And in here now, I just want to see the OOP. So OOP is in here, it's starting from zero and one. So if I write in here one, okay, if I write in here one, uh, I just want to write in here one BR because I'm just going to make one change in here after a while. So if we run the erase Okay, this one, sorry, array 7. So we are able to see now web programming, digital image processing, and OOP as we were uh, planning to see. Okay? Now, what I will do is this. In before one, if I would like to add, if I would like to add one more new course on any of those lectures, I was supposed to change all the string. Remember? I was supposed to change them all. But now what I'm going to do is this. Okay, let's say that. Let's say that. Um, I, I have one more course. Okay, so my new course is, my new course is, because that is me, I'm just going to write in here Gokhan. My new course is, Computer aided design. Okay? But if I write like that, so it will write over all of this array. What I want to do is I want to add the computer aided design after the ACI. So yeah, no no no, you, you're not writing three. You will just simply say that this. Do you remember it? We had to use it before. So if you make like this, that already means that after the next. Okay? So what happens is the computer design will be added in here. Got it? We have used this idea in, in the first lesson. Okay, let me uh, try to see whether really it is in here or not. Then I'm just going to echo now. Now I'm just going to echo my array one. Uh, Gokhan. And now if I want to see the cat there, it became zero, one, two, and three. So if I check the third one now in here, I save it. And let's see whether the computer aided design is there or not. Here it is. The computer aided design is also there. Okay? So now, 
What I want to make is, I want to make that same loop, I want to make that same loop as we had in the previous arrays.php. Uh, I mean, Gökhan teaches this, uh, Sari teaches that, and uh, Mr. Sari teaches this. Okay? This it can be possible by using nested for each loop. Nested for each loop. As you do remember that the nested loops were having the loops inside the loops. Now, where I'm going to have a for each loop, that for each loop is going to contain another for each loop because we have multi dimension arrays. Okay, let's do for it. Now, let me just write in here echo uh, HR. Now, uh, this part is no more important for us. You have understood the basics. Look at the steps what now I'm going to build. I'm just going to collide this place. Fold selection so you will not get confused about that code. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is this. I'm just going to write in here for each my array one as key and data okay now what I'm going to do is this first of all I have to display the key first of all I have to display the key so I'm just going to write in here echo dollar key okay that teaches, okay, teaches, and that's all. Now, what I will see now in here, okay, at the end, I'm just going to write in here echo br, so we will have the handsome spacings in between them. Okay, now here it is. If I run, I'm able to see Gökhan teaches this, Sade teaches that, Savretin teaches that. What if I write in here, inside in here, something like that, as we did before, if I write in here the data. If I write here the data, in this case, I will see this. Gökhan teaches array, Sali teaches array, Saritan teaches array, because they are not indicating any meaningful value yet, they are just indicating the arrays. So I have to go deep in detail, okay? So for making that, going deep in detail, I'm just going to build another for each loop. This for each loop is going to work, depends on this internal arrays. And we have those internal arrays inside the first for each loop, defined as dollar data, okay? So what I'm going to do in here is dollar data as key in and sorry and data in. So these are the values, these are the values which are related to this internal arrays. Uh, defined as key internal and the data internal and then in here I'm just going to write echo simply data internal and then I will make a separator now when I save it and try let's see what happens now I'm able to see all of the lessons Okay, because what happens in here is this. Okay, I'm just going to keep it in here. Um, I'm just going to explain the details, and if you have any question, you will just ask it now. Okay.
I had commanded them, but still it looks like non commanded. Just give me a second, I'm just going to arrange it so you'll understand it better, I hope. That's awkward. Okay, let, let it stay like this, no problem. Okay. Follow here, please. I'm just going to explain whatever I have done step by step. Okay? We have two four H loops. The second four H loop is inside the first one. The second four H loop is inside the first one. So what I have done. I have defined that this my array one, which is this one, is going to be used in here as the indexes are being used as the dollar key as the variable, and the contained information is being used dollar data as the variable. Okay? So here is the key, and here is the data. Here is the key and here's the data and such, okay? So what happened in here? When I am in this stage, I am just writing the dollar key. So write me the key. And add the teachers right after it. So it is writing the key, which is Gökhan, Salim, and the Sauretin in here. And then add teachers after each of them. Do you understand up until here? Okay. I am not able to write the data straightforward. The reason is the data, what those keys are indexing, is an array. So because it is an array, I am not able to just simply I uh, call them. If I call them, as I did before, it wrote in here array, array, and array. So I have to open that back and open that pack again. So that pack was named as data. Now I am opening that data pack now. I'm opening that data pack now. While I'm opening it, I said that this is the key internal and this is the data internal. Okay? Then I, I'm writing in here that write the data internal. Data internal is either web programming, web technologies, HCI, and whatever is being added. Or database, IMS, the digital image processing, or the programming and OP and such. Okay? After they write each of the lessons, there's a separation with the comment. After every data item was displayed, after every data item is displayed, then it terminates this for each loop and comes in here and makes the new line. So this first for each loop is for the common loop. It says that Gökhan teaches array. Sari teaches array and Sarita teaches array. The second for each loop is for opening that array, what that array contains. Clear? Now your questions. They, this data is this one. The whole array. Data in is this one. The inside. Okay? So and that is just the name of the variable what I have here. We can just A, B, name there something. You just remove that step for it to have a key. For this one? You just like that step, the last step. What was the reason? Which one? Here? You just like the lessons. You mean here all? Yeah. So you will not see the lessons. You will say here array, array, array. You have to open up arrays by using this for each one. Okay, 
Uh, you said that. Look, let me explain it with my drawing. Now, what we have is this. We have one array. You can take the arrays as the boxes or baskets or packages. Okay? This is my first array. This is my array one. Okay? I'm just going to draw for two. The third and fourth will be the same. I have another array in here. This array is named as program. And it has, okay, let's say web program or zero. And it has web technologies and such. Okay, I'm not making it more. And I have in here styling as the second array. And here I have the database or a zero and for one information management systems. Okay. Now the first for loop the first for loop sorry not the for loop first for each loop removes the first box. Okay? This is the first for each loop. Okay? The second for each loop removes these internal boxes. Okay? Second for each loop. You got this? So this is box in a box. Any more question? Ah, key in, we haven't used it in here, but if you want to use it, you can just simply write something like this. Follow here? You can say that in here that uh, key in plus one something like this. And if you make something like that, when you run the page, sorry, just a minute. We have a problem. Just a minute. Okay, you can use it like that for counting the number of lessons. Okay, why I am making it plus one because I know that the key values are starting from zero, so I should increase it by one. Okay. The key in, the key in, look, this key, this key is about Gökhan, Sali, and Sabi. Okay? This data is about this array, this array, or this array. Okay? Now, if I am opening the second pack, means if I am opening this pack now, now, key in, is 0, 1, 2, okay? And data in is web programming, web technologies, ACI. You got it? Any more question? Clear enough? Okay. Uh, there are three um, methods left. Those methods are not so complicated. It's a piece of cake. Okay? We will make them and then we will give a break. Okay? Those are very simple and easy. Do not worry about it. They are not looks like that. You mean for the uh, practice? I will tell you before you go. Okay? Just wait. Now, I am just going to
Okay. Now, let me write one more value in here. That is 7. Now, the first one is this. Follow here. Echo minimum is this. So, the first method what I'm going to show you now is min. That is just brings us the minimum numeric value in an array and displays us. So, if I run it, array is 8 now. Array is 8. So it says that minimum is 2. Okay, let's see. Yes, it is 2. The next one is almost the opposite of it. That is maximum. Okay, so the maximum is returning me the maximum. Okay. So let's run it. That is bringing me to 93. Okay? Now, I'm just going to give you a confusion. Confusion. What if I write in here gold? So what would be the minimum or the maximum value changes? Do you remember in the mathematical operations, if you write the string there, what was the value of string in the mathematics? Zero. Okay? So now, zero is smaller than two. Because zero is smaller than two, so when I save it and try, I see that the minimum is gold. Because the numeric, the alpha, alphabetic values, uh, I mean strings or the texts, are being considered as zero. Okay? Uh, but, of course, if you have something less than zero, let's say like minus two, if I save it and try now, I will see that minus two. What if we have two alphabetic values? Sorry, a uh, uh, numeric. Uh, non-numeric values let's say a and b okay so i'm just going to show you that too okay i'm just going to keep it too i'm going to write in here a b and c so now a is zero b is zero c is zero too but which one will be the smallest one according to here the minimum then in this case you just go for the very first alphabetic one a is that okay okay you have seen the min you have seen the max we have two more left sort and reverse sort okay they are also very simple and easy what I'm going to do is this I'm just going to start the indicating from 100 okay so it starts indicating from 100 I'm just going to write something like this echo HR and I'm just going to write in here echo these are the stuffs what we have already stood that's why I'm just passing it very fast print R uh, my array one and the echo so what we are expected to see we will see that it will list us the array and it will start indexing from hundreds let's see sorry we have a problem online nine let me just see yeah I forget it Okay, so now I'm able to see them in this order, okay? The first thing what I'm going to show you is this. I'm just going to copy them all. And I will paste it in here. What I will do is this. 
I'm writing in here sort the my array. When the my array is sorted, when the my array is sorted, index values will start from zero. It will not be hundred anymore. And it sorts the values according to the numeric condition. Means this. If you look at on here, now it starts the index from zero. And as you see that the A is coming before B and C, then the numbers are coming next. Uh, it makes the sorting itself. You're not supposed to think about it. Okay? The next one is the reverse of it. The next one is the reverse of it. So as you can simply understand, the reverse of it is having R sort. R stands for reverse. So in the first, it was counting the values from smallest to highest. Now it starts from highest to smallest. So that's all for now. Uh, please be back in the lab by 11.10. Okay, 10 past 11. So we have 10 minutes break now.